Uh, LS says, Hey everyone, it's LS. Hey dude, what's up? Oh god, you need to go shower bro. Even your comments are stinky. Hey everyone, welcome to Degon vs. Commenters here, Season 3, Episode 9 of Face Check. This was one of my favorite episodes of Face Check because I think the three of us are just in the groove. We got to talk about LS's career. There's a lot of behind the scenes in your comments today. Let's take a look at them. Uh, first up, we have comments about LS's uh, lack of sanitation, literally smelly, literally stinky, probably... Uh, uh, lightly sticky as well. Let's take a look at him. Jim infested. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Uh, said LS AKA literally smelly hasn't showered for six days. Please go shower LS. Craig Hine, very concerned, said use baby wipes till you get water. And Eureka D said since Corona hit and everything I do besides league is online school, I have periods of like one to two weeks where I didn't shower or change my clothes at all. I'm happy LS is like me now. Smiley face. Um, all right, Eureka. Well, uh, you're, you're quite courageous to, uh, not only go through that and shower, not shower for several weeks, but also to share that. But, uh, good on you. Find your truth. Everyone else. Yeah. That was so interesting when, when it happened because Dom and LS are, 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 we were, we were all scrambling to get this show going. Obviously it's later in the week. LS is moving and had a lot to deal with. And so we wanted to work around it. And when he brought that story up, I didn't know if he was kidding or not. One of the things that he said is like, hey guys, I need to do the camera off because there's, you know, space heater. I'm wearing like a big jacket and a blanket. And I'm like, okay, sure. You know, it must be a little tough there. When he said he hadn't showered for days, I was like, all right, Dom's gonna flame him. If LS takes this well, we're gonna have one hell of a show. He took it well, we did, and now he has a bunch of new nicknames, no longer just Le Snake. All right, next up we have, uh, Lecras97 said, I think TSM have a vague advantage in that they can play drafts more comfortably with Huni on picks like Gragas or Enchanter tops like Lulu, while Alfari generally gravitates away from tanks and probably would never play an Enchanter top because of how TL have their power points distributed. Uh, this feels like a sweeping statement from Lacrosse. So let me, let me just look this up real quick. Okay, uh, we look at Huni uh, from this year. And he's played Nar, Gragas, Orn, Gangplank, and the Lock-In, and then Nar, Jace, oh shit, and Gragas. And then Renekton, because everyone's playing Renekton. Lulu twice, okay. So he does have Shen in there, he has Gragas, he has Scion, and Lulu. So that is a bigger pool of champs. Let's go check out Alfari. Alfari has played uh, Gangplank, Nar, Camille, Jace, Renekton, Jax, Kennen. There's no kink, uh, tanks in that uh, during lock-in tournament. Uh, and then for LCS Spring, Renekton, Nar, Gangplank, Camille, Kennen, Gragas once, Quinn. So he's only played Gragas once. This Is this is this actually a challenger comment? Not a challenger comment? In Digon versus commenters? Lacrosse 97 has provided value in the comment section, everybody. Praise him. I'm still, I'm still shook. I'm still shook that we had a, a good comment. Cody Carroll says, why does no one talk about how Svenskeren sometimes just randomly counter jiggle with no priority and dies for it and feels like he's done this since his TSM days? Yeah, Cody, I tried to bring that up in, in our chat. Um, it's tough to tell this with this specific team because you have uh, Madman Jizuke, we talked about it. Madman Jizuke in the mid lane who wants to do crazy things. So you feel like you have to hover a little bit. You've got Impact who is a veteran and a strong vocal presence and that's been documented throughout all of his stops throughout his career. Uh, maybe I have some inside info from the greatest AD carry in North America. Uh, and then you have Ignar who loves to roam around and make plays outside of bot lane as well. So. There's a lot of people that you need to appease, as well as your own conviction to play the game, because Spence Garen's been around for a long time. Uh, I have noticed that he's died a lot. That is why I put Jose Diodo over Spence Garen. But uh, at the end of the day, that is a difficult thing to surmise. It it's always a lot more fun when it's very clear what happened, like Jazuke dying in record time. That's very clear what happened. Jazuke runs down mid and then like looks around the map and then you know gets caught. That was great scouting. That was very clear. With stuff like that, it's a little bit harder to tell, uh, especially when you have all of these uh, crazy strong presences on your team. So I'll give him a little bit of a pass this time. Ooh, what a name. Murderous Koala. 
uh, said, I don't like the development team excuse, not gonna lie. Weren't Mad Lions and Rogue development team rookies last year? Can someone remind me where they ended that year? Uh, you can go look it up yourself because that's LEC stuff, but I think it is third and fourth. Uh, I will also say that, yes, the development team moniker is not cool in the LCS. Uh, I think there's a difference between what was happening with CLG, which was they were getting all their parts together at the same time and got screwed over by visa issues and travel issues, um, compared to Golden Guardians that you took young players and threw them to the wolves. And, you know, Niles has said multiple times that he is making progress. He learned a lot. He obviously got beat up a lot. I'm looking forward to next split. But, man, it, it it was hard to tell if he was learning a lot, especially when you're, make, when you're dying so much. That doesn't mean it's the same mistake. Dying first blood multiple times isn't the same mistake. There are mistakes that happen that leads to the first blood. So if he's learning every time, that's the silver lining. It just tough to see that from the outside looking in and uh, again I said on the show uh, I'll say it again I'm just surprised how much everyone took to Golden Guardians being called a development roster when we just you know we didn't get that and, uh, Dom had a good point he had a good point where he's like well you know uh, Lorlo and Matt uh, and contracts all had been pros for a while as well as high but they were still mad young so when we tried to push for it Riot was like nah this this is this is what it is. You guys are the all-American roster, no imports, and just getting pooped on. Rather than, hey, this is a roster full of young people. Corey Heimsat uh, said, everyone keeps hyping up TL, but they haven't won a split without double lift. Yes, I know he was on the team in spring last year, but he wasn't mentally there. They keep talking clutch factor, but I really think double lift provided that clutch factor, especially if you watch the series where they're getting shit on by TSM in final spring 2019, and double lift asks for kill potential bot lane so he can carry the game. It'll be interesting to see who wins this year when there's no double lift to guarantee a win. Corey, I think you're spot on there. I mean, there's also no uh, Bjergsen in this matchup. So to me, that's also an interesting thing because Power of Evil, we touched on it. Power of Evil, known as a great number two guy, a great neutralizer of the opponent, not the hard carry that you put all your resources in to get you over the hump against the top teams, right? Uh, so... He has Hooney with him. Loss is coming into form. Speak has had a good season. Power of Evil versus Jensen is going to be a fun matchup here because uh, this, to me, is going to hold true. The statement holds true until proven otherwise because of how many times uh, Doublelift won and how, how, how successful he was and became the clutch guy. And then for TSM, the clutch guy was Bjergsen and then only uh, uh, boosted up when they joined the same team. So... Uh, yeah, Corey, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. I hope that you do too. And know that it's not just for this TSM versus TL matchup. Like if TL want to get that clutch factor back, if if TL want to become uh, NA's best team, they gotta do it through Cloud9. They gotta finish the fight and, and, and win themselves a championship without them. Next up, Simdikog said, just a little correction here, statistics don't lie, but liars use statistics. It's a modernized version of a phrase popularized by Mark Twain, then later used again by various politicians, writers, philosophers, etc. I'm not sure if Mark Twain is the actual origin of the phrase, but he definitely used it, so it was not Caps who came up with that. No, Sim, 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 Sim. We don't talk a lot of LEC here on Face Check, but when we do, we usually try to talk about the most famous popular player in the league and I was surprised that he said that. Why are you coming here to rain on the parade and tell me that it was actually Mark Twain? And a ruining everything now. Uh, but the actual quote, just since you're being, you know, a, a stickler here, is there are three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. So uh, thank you for raining on our parade but making sure we're correct. Can't be entertaining and right all the time, right? All right, next up, Leper Lee. Oh, that's so nice. He says, this is a great entertaining show. Thanks, man. Oh, there, there's more? Okay. Uh, so sad it's 99% wrong. Not gonna lie. Had us in the first half. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all. Hey, man, this was a fun episode. Also, I'm very excited to bring up uh, Name That LCS Player. So if you guys have suggestions on players that you want to bring up in early seasons to have LS and Dom, guess who it is? Season two, season three, off of a weird statistic, most played champ, uh, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. We'll find ways to mask it for next week's episode. Thanks, y'all. Hey, thanks so much for watching Ben Esports. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and explore other videos. In fact, click the ones on the screen right now. Works better than trying to click on my shoes to get them. You can't.